Rows and rows of startup founders are here at TechCrunch Disrupt, busy pitching their tech ideas. Today, they are hoping to interest investors and customers. Trouble brewing in Washington for Silicon Valley giants like Facebook over how Russia used social media to influence the U.S. elections last year seems far away. Still, these entrepreneurs wonder what they can control and what they can't when it comes to the technology they are creating. What technology is allowing is it's allowing people to have more freedom to create and more freedom to communicate. Um, so uh, a, a malevolent message might have been quiet in the past, but a male you know that can be uh, quite loud uh, now. Lachlan Phillips' company helps businesses make video ads and distribute them on social media. The high-level concern about Russians' use of Facebook to spread divisive messages in the U.S. gave him something to think about. Integrity is absolutely essential to me as, a, as, a, as an individual and, and to my company. And I think um, uh, I, I, wouldn't, I would never want to uh, disseminate any information that I personally didn't agree with to some degree. Um, and I think it's really important that, that companies do that, you know, especially, um, especially now it's such a... Uh, you know, it's such a, a sensitive climate. Amy Chen created 99 Voices to allow people to rate politicians and businesses. She is still trying to find technical ways to make sure people can't trick her system to make it seem as if a lot of people are voting one way or another. I don't know if, like, technology can solve this issue, but, like, it'd be nice if each person gets one vote and one say, and that's the platform where you can judge what is uh, the public opinion. Some entrepreneurs say what matters is a company's intent, not all the ways that technology might be used or misused. I think to a certain extent, yes, that there should be some policing. I mean, but then again, that can be said for any industry. You look at uh, well, what I'm in right now, the encrypted messaging space, and people do say that there are drawbacks about this type of uh, uh, security, right? That, you know, um, different personnel can use it for different things, maybe not the most positive things in the world. But you could say that about uh, a car company or a, uh, a plane company as well, right? So I believe if, uh, if a company has a good intention initially, then I think that's fine from there. There will always be bad actors in the world, and we can't prevent all governments from all interference. But we can Facebook make it announced we it can will make add it more harder. human review and, and oversight for its automated ad process. The goal? Weed out advertisements that try to reach people who identify as being against certain races, ethnicities, religions, and other group. My belief is that we're still a human society and, and we, still need, uh, we still need that human layer to ensure that we're people talking to people. Even here, where there's great excitement about the future, there is also a sense that technology's reach and power is daunting. Michelle Quinn, VOA News, San Francisco.